Hi, Bob. It's Alan Day, and it is uh, Friday, September 15, and I wanted to show you a short video of uh, the work that we have done so far on the piano. My as two assistants have uh, finished for their season and in the time that I spent with them this summer, and uh, now it is up to me to finish the work on your instrument and to give you kind of a progress report. I'm going to turn around here and take a look at uh, the work that we've done so far. Uh, the most um, striking part of it is how wonderful the plate or the cast iron frame turned out. Uh, I spray uh, a gold or a bronze powder on the uh, cast iron and it really gleams. It's um, like a brand new instrument. And this uh, lovely soundboard is now finished and uh, the guide rails are put in and I'll refer to these a little bit later in the video. And um, I splurged for these what they're called duplex bars from Steinway. Uh, the ones that were on your piano were beyond restoration. And I'll give you a glimpse of those here. They just would not uh, shine up at all. The pedals, um, I uh, re I cleaned those up and uh, also made the new uh, cushions, or they call them raviolis, which are the underneath this area here. And then you see the rods have been polished as well and new uh, rubber grommets have been put into the back of those and they, they operate nice and smoothly. Uh, so that's all done. Then over here uh, is the action of the piano showing these beautiful German hammers and uh, these are called the whippings and uh, as you can see these shanks and flanges here have all been replaced. Um, the keys have all been rebushed and these key pins polished up so that it operates really very smoothly now. Uh, we have taken this through the regulation process and we call the bench uh, and in the piano. We're still awaiting the uh, stringing of the piano which um, uh, will be coming soon. This is the the Dam Chaser, the Life uh, Saver system that I'll be putting into uh, the instrument. I uh, wanted to bring your attention to this item over here, uh, and I have some concerns about this. I probably mentioned to you that um, the piano had been suffering from what we call verdigris, and that's in this tiny little uh, bushing right in this area here um, and that's the reason we replaced those action parts. I'm finding that the um, the centers in these bushings, as I call them, uh, are not responding to the lubricant that uh, I had tried on them and I think that we are going to have to wind up replacing this. It's called the back action and uh, it supports the damper assembly. As you can see, all these are brand new felts in here. And then these wires come down to join into the holes in this under lever back action system. And these are moving too sluggishly. Um, and I'm going to try one more thing I'm laughing because um, this was a discovery that I made uh, years and decades ago about treating uh, these sluggish uh, centers, as they call them, and that is to use uh, Fleischmann's 100-proof uh, vodka heated up in a microwave and then applied uh, directly to these little bushings. I have already tried one lubricant uh, and it didn't take, so there's a 50-50 chance that the uh, vodka will do the trick. 
I'm just hoping that it will because uh, these are just moving too sluggish. The end result of them moving too sluggishly is that they will uh, provide a uh, impediment to the action. Uh, when the end of the key goes up and pushes on this, this creates friction in the drag and it makes for a, a very hard, weighty feel to the piano, which is not fun at all uh, to play. It's not user friendly. So um, I'm going to try my best to um, use the hot vodka and see what that does. And if uh, that does not work, then we're going to have to replace that mechanism and I have one in the shop that I was going to be using on my next Steinway, uh, but um, I can use it here. Um, however, it's costly. It's almost $2,000 to do that work. So I want you to uh, think about that and keep your fingers crossed that the hot vodka um, rectifies the situation. So that's uh, all I have to um, report on thus far. I'm very, very happy the way uh, the pin block, um, which is the block of wood that's underneath the um, plate worked out. That's the muscle of the piano. I just uh, drilled all these holes um, in the pin block this morning and the tuning pins will go into each one. There's a little bit of a ding here which I have to touch up and I usually wait to the end uh, and touch that up with the gold paint. So there we go. Um, I hope uh, this video is instructive to you and helpful. Take care. Bye.